When I was at the uh, Israeli Air Force, I came uh, upon a phenomena. People used to call it Rosh Katan, small head or pinhead. And what it means is that the person decides to play it small head, like a pinhead. He doesn't do more than what he was told to. No more, no less. That's it. He didn't tell me, I didn't do it. And it was very interesting to watch people practice that. And they took it as a, as a, as a, as a life thing. You know, that's how they lived their life. And yet there were people who always like to do more, always like to do things better. And believe it or not, those people, if, did not, if, if at that moment they did not become or, or moved into a, a commanding position, later on in life, they, they really made something of themselves. Most of the people played pinheads. And it's a very dangerous thing to do. Now, for example, so you're going to ask me a question. How do you actually become a great person? Nobody is born great. You decide to become great. Whatever field that you want to be in is how, the, is, I mean, the way you are, the way you, you feel, the way you, you live your life is basically a reflection of really of who you are. So how, how do I go about it? Let's say, for example, I want to be a gadol ador. You know, uh, a halachic authority. What do I need to do? Let's say, for example, I want to become an athlete. What do I need to do? Athlete does not mean a person that goes jogging in the morning. If I want to become, you know, a flamenco guitar player, what do I need to do? And so on and so forth. The answer is, well, first of all, you need to decide that that's what you want to do. From that point on, everything that you do has to be directed towards that goal. In other words, if you want to become a halachic authority, every action of your life has to be determined and has to be reflected that will of becoming a halachic authority. You need to examine everything like this in, in the halachic eyes. You have to, every action of you has to reflect that. You want to become an athlete, every action that you do would reflect that you becoming an, an athlete. For example, you're going to become aware of what you eat and how you sit and what you do in your free time and when you go to sleep and, and then you become an athlete. Let's say you want to become a flamenco player. Oh, you know, it's going to take a, a lot of effort to become like, let's say, Paco de Lucia, a lover shalom. However, if you're going to start with uh, very basic uh, arpeggios, you know, playing, playing uh, flamenco arpeggios, you're going to start doing it for three hours a day. After a year, you've gotten close to 1,100, 1,200 hours. Well, you already can play. It means, but you need to dedicate yourself for three hours just for that matter. In other words, three hours, that's all you do. Needless to say, if you're going to dedicate eight hours a day for that goal, where would you be at the end of the year? If you want to become something, you have to think of that something. Most people want to, but don't even want to put the effort. So if you want to become, for example, a person who is Yeresh Hamayim, well, you have to act like one. You have to act like one. All your actions have to be directed towards that goal. You can be a person who is God-fearing person if you don't include God in every actions of your life. You can become a Shomer Torah Mitzvot, a Torah observant person if your every single action that you do is not geared towards observing this mitzvah or develop this awareness of am I doing the mitzvah, how should I do it, and so on and so forth. I'm not talking about the level of an OCD. I'm talking about awareness. It's a totally different thing. 
You would like to give titles to yourself. But it doesn't work like that. It's like me printing a, you know, uh, going to my computer and printing out a certificate. I'm a black belt to 7,000 degrees, you know, whatever it is. I have a professor from, from Harvard University. I mean, I printed it, but, you know, it means nothing. <clears throat> and not only that, I mean, that's why, for example, universities and any certificate that is not being equivalent or being, or being you know, uh, uh, not equivalent, should I say, uh, supervised or approved by the peers is worth nothing. I mean, what stops me from making my own university and giving myself a doctorate? You know, you know, nothing, but, you know, it has to have certain credentials of, like, what do you do, and so on and so forth. And you have to go to approval, and you have to build your name, and blah, 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 the whole entire thing. So the same thing for my year at Shamaim. My, my, my actions have to reflect also that also people would, would understand. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't tell me you, that a person is Yer Shamaim when he goes out and, you know, goes to the beach with shorts. That ain't going to happen. I mean, if you're going to the beach with shorts to go to save people, I hear you, okay, that's something else. But you don't sit, I mean, as nice as it is, you don't sit on, you know, by the beach with a, with a Corona, whatever it is that you drink, not Corona, you know, whatever you drink, you know, mojito, and then tell me oh, you're a Yerushalayim person. If you're going there to do Kiruv, to get people, I hear you, beside them. But your actions, your thoughts, everything have to reflect. The fact that you are not means that you didn't, you didn't gear it. It's just empty titles you give yourself. So you want to be something, you got to start thinking. You want to be a Talmud Chacham, well, you have to start learning Chokhmah, you have to start learning Torah in a very specific and certain way. If you have to be Yerushalayim, you know, you have to do certain things. But don't tell me that you're going to be able to become a Talmud Chacham and then do binge, you know, watching you know, every single uh, TV show on Netflix. You might know a lot of movies, but you're not going to be a Talmud Chacham. And so on and so forth to everything in your life. So if you want to be, if you want to be great, you have to start acting great. You have to start thinking like a great person. And a great person does not think like a regular person. If you want to be a Talmud Chacham, you have to start acting like a Talmud Chacham. You have to, you, you know, because the Talmud Chacham doesn't think like everybody else. He thinks like a Talmud Chacham. As much as a plumber thinks like a plumber and a carpenter thinks like a carpenter, when, when, you, when a person is a real carpenter, you know, and, and is a real, and there's nothing wrong with being a carpenter, it's a wonderful thing, but right away he sees a table, he can tell you if it was made right, if, who made it, you know, what's the quality of the work, and so on and so forth, because all his essence is towards carpentry. And that's something that you need to take to, your, to yourself. What you really are is what you actually think of, is what you do, is what you gear your actions to. If you're a hard-working person, you, know, you like to have the title of a hard-working person, all your effort has to be hard-working, everything and everything that you do. You can't be a hard-working person, only one thing and the other, the other stuff, you're lazy. That's not going to happen. That's, a, that's, that's deceiving. If you have to be a God-fearing person, if that's what you want to be, terrific. All your actions, you have to start thinking, acting, and behaving like a God-fearing person. Other than that, you're going to reach the age of 60, 50, 70, and you're going to realize that you wasted your life. You're going to say, oh my goodness, what a waste. What a waste. Time is not waiting for anyone. For anyone. And time is running out. Time is running out from the day you were born. It's not waiting for you. You want to be something, you, start, you have to start thinking and analyzing and doing everything as that person that, you know, as, as a great person or whatever it is that you want to be. You want to be a good businessman? Everything has to, you have to start thinking like, and, and that's what really makes it between those who were pinheads or those who were big heads. People who are big heads always think about everything that they do, how to do it better, to do the extra mile. They don't sit down and say, okay, I just step my car in there. The pinheads 
other people are going to do exactly what it, if they do it exactly what they were told to do no more and no less and that's 99.9% .9 of the people but that's what separates those who are successful or those who are wasted I'm not even talking about not being successful those who waste their lives or those who actually tap into their lives you want to tap into your life define what you want and then everything that you do would be geared towards that if not I'm going to tell you this it's a waste of a life have a great day